Yo, 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 what's going on, YouTube? Hey, everyone, thank you so much for tuning into our channel. I'm Ty. I'm Katie. And we are TK, TK Top Tunes. And today, we'll be breaking down American Idol Season 18's Top 20. Yes, the power rankings, who we think's the top 20. This episode, we are also joined by John Gonzalez. Yes, American Idol expert. John has been covering American Idol since day one. He has interviewed all the stars and the judges in the past. He has a ton of knowledge about the show, and we're so excited to hear his predictions. Yeah, so thank you for joining us on this episode, and let's get into it. Here we go. So last week, it came down to see who would get the final spot in the top 20, and it was left up to America to make that decision. Yeah, we absolutely loved Lauren Massetti, age 28, from Nashville, Tennessee, we loved her original song, God Made a Woman. Both Grace and Lauren deserve to be in the top 20 among some other contestants. So it was super heartbreaking that only one moved forward. Mm -hmm. Hard to say, but if we absolutely had to choose, I think we'd say Grace would move forward. I think Grace is going to go forward and Lauren is going to be out of the competition, sadly. Mm -hmm. But she's really, really talented. Yeah. I liked her a lot. Me too. She was awesome. Let's see what John thinks. Idol should have had both of these two in the top 20. Don't know why they squared them off at number 21. It's kind of unfair, I think. Um, there are a lot of uh, great vocalists in the top 20. Uh, clearly, those two voices should have been in the top 20 and should not be squaring off against each other. So between the two, I think Grace will get that coveted 20 spot. Not sure how they're going to announce this thing, but I think that Lauren also has that potential, if she was given, to maybe even make the top 10. At number 21, I have Nick Mariko. I think this might be a little controversial for a lot of people coming in at number 21. He's 24 years old from St. Louis, Missouri. Lived and grew up in Miami. Did some acting. But this is the guy that uh, Lionel Richie and he just did not get along. He has a lot of experience. He looks the part. He kind of seems on the surface he could go a long way. But uh, I think there's still a level there that... Just America's not buying, so I'm going to put him at number 21. At number 20 for the top 20 American Idol contestants, we have Dwayne Crocker Jr. Yes. He's 23 years old, hometown from Pensacola, Florida. For his audition, he did Don't Worry, Be Happy. It was an interesting choice. And Hawaii Week, he did Old Town Road, which we didn't feel was his strongest performance. I don't think it was. Uh, I don't think he... I don't think that was the best from him. Yeah. Wasn't my favorite. So we're going to have to put him at number 20. Let's see what John has to say. At number 20, we have Dylan James. Uh, this guy has a great backstory. I think we're all rooting for him. He's 26 years old, originally from Bakersfield, uh, California. Has uh, had some trouble with uh, substance abuse in his time. Um, but he's come back stronger than ever. And it's that story that compels us to really like him. Vocally, not my favorite uh, contestant this year. Uh, I think if he lasts longer than number 20, it'll be because of that backstory. But uh, I just think that he doesn't have a long run on Idol this year. At number 19, we have Sophia Wackerman. Age 20, hometown Long Beach, California. She sounded great during the auditions and really good during Hollywood Week. But Hawaii Week, her performance was lacking a bit. Yeah. It just wasn't there. No. wasn't her best performance. She wasn't connecting really with the audience. Wasn't connecting. She was flat at some points. Yeah. So we got to put her at 19. Mm -hmm. Let's see what John has to say. At number 19 is Joven Webb. And of course, we love this guy. You know, just a lot of enthusiasm as a performer, a lot of energy. He's 29 years old, originally from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, yeah, you love his backstory as well. He's a seasoned musician, veteran performer, uh, who can get the job done, has a great voice, but, um, I think that, it, and I hate to be ageist here, uh, it just, he, he's kind of a little past his prime when it comes to idle, not saying past his prime as a performer, because the guy, the guy definitely has some chops there and can perform, but I'm not sure he's cut out for the long run as well. At number 18, we have... Aliana Jester. Aliana is 19 from Tampa, Florida. This wasn't her best performance during Hollywood Week where she performed This Is Me from The Greatest Showman. Yeah. We weren't too impressed. Mm -mm. I think her audition was her best performance on the show. Yeah. She did really good then, but just This Is Me, I don't think, was the right choice for her. Yeah, me neither. The song just didn't really work, I don't think. Yeah. So, she's in spot 18. 18. Let's hear from John. 
At number 18, we're gonna go with Johnny West. <laughs> He's 23 years old, originally from uh, Whitt Whittemore, California. You know his backstory as well. Uh, auditioned with his girlfriend. Last year she went uh, to this point, uh, didn't make it, but he did. Uh, they're of course se separated as performers now, but still together as a couple. Uh, he kind of grew on me through auditions and uh, I saw him as having some potential as, uh, as an idol finalist, but I'm a little surprised he made it to this level. I thought the two country performers that had to square off at number 21 were both better vocally than, than Johnny, but uh, let's, let's hope it makes a little run. At number 17, we have Joven Webb. 29, hometown, Gonzales, Louisiana. His audition was great. His performance lacked during Hollywood Week. He's got a very soulful sound to him. I think his Hollywood Week wasn't the best, and his performance was decent, but overall, I think his audition was the best we've seen from him this season, and that's why he's got to be at 17. Let's see what John has to say. At number 17 is Louis Knight. Louis Knight, 19 years old. Yeah, he's, he's a young kid. He did not hold up through Hawaii. Vocally was really uh, rough, um, emotionally having a tough time with everything. I think Katy Perry, the other judges, uh, kind of pushed him to say, hey, you know, you can do better. You not. You need to just kind of move it up a notch here. Uh, but I think just emotions and everything that's playing into this season is just, it's overwhelming for him and his age. So I put him at number 17. At number 16, we have Nick Mariso. He's 24 years old from Woodland Hills, California. Hollywood Week was stronger than Hawaii Week, where he sang Bruno Mars, and it wasn't his best performance. He has a good voice, but I wouldn't say he's winner material. And Lionel wasn't a fan. He thought his ego was too big. Yeah, Lionel didn't like him at all in his mm -hmm. audition, but he did say when he moved on to the top 20 that he was starting to like him a little bit. Yeah, getting a little more humble. So who knows? Maybe he'll get higher than 16, but that's where we have him at. Yep. Let's see what John has to say. At number 16 is Dwayne Crocker Jr. He's 24 years old from Pensacola, Florida. Uh, I, I loved his performance during Hawaii. Uh, I, I think uh, coming out with Old Town Road and looking like a performer on stage wearing the cowboy hat, uh, he showed like he was a performer. And I think for the first time we said, you know what, this guy might stick around for a little longer. We're not surprised to see him in the top 21, but I think he comes in around 16. Uh, I think he's 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 talented, a lot of potential. Um, not sure how far he will go. At number fifteen, we have Faith Becknell. Yes, Faith is twenty years old from Louisiana. She has that Louisiana soul. She's a young singer. She sang Rufus and Shaka Khan classic, and we think that she'll get top fifteen. I definitely think she'll make top fifteen, possibly yeah. a little bit higher. We'll have to wait and see. Now let's hear from the idol expert. At number 15 is Faith Becknell from Louisiana, not too far from uh, New Orleans. She's also a seasoned professional at only 20 years old. She's got a lot of experience. Uh, I've been up and down with Faith uh, this season. I, uh, I have her at 15 because I don't know if she has the uh, performance ability to get into that top 10. I, I think she has uh, a lot of uh, positive uh, energy. Uh, she has uh, a great voice. Um, kind of reminds me a little bit of Etta James, so that's really classic. Uh, but, um, but I don't know. I'm still not sure where she's gonna land in the top uh, 21. At number 14, we have Franklin Boone. He's 28, his hometown is Durham, North Carolina. This guy's super cool. He's a music teacher at the School of Rock. Oh, yeah. Actually, love that movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's got that smoky, soulful voice to him. I'm a big fan of him. Yeah. Some notable performances was performing Dreams by Fleetwood Mac mm -hmm. and Daughters by John Mayer that he just did during Hawaii Week. I think he's going to go a little bit further, but right now we have him at 14. John, what do you think? At number 14 is Lauren Massetti. Interesting choice here because she does not... Uh, land as high as uh, Grace, who she is locked up with in that 21 spot. So in my power rankings, I'm putting Lauren at number 14. At number 13, we have Grace Lear, who we think will beat out Lauren to make it into the top 20. Mm -hmm. Grace is 28 years old from Nashville, Tennessee, and she was actually on Idols Junior. Came back 16 years later Crazy. and is on the show now. She performed You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman on Hawaii Week. 
has a super strong voice, very passionate, very humble. I actually liked her audition piece the best. So I'd say she's top 13. I'm thinking so. Yeah. Great pick. Who do you have at 13, John? At number 13 is Franklin Boone. He is, of course, the music teacher that we all love from Durham, North Carolina. Uh, I, I, I love this guy as well. Uh, vocally, he impressed me at Hawaii. And I thought, you know what? Maybe this guy has a top 10 potential in him. It's going to be interesting to see song choices from here on out. Got an incredible voice, uh, great stage presence. Um, yeah, we'll see what he does. At number 12, we have Kimmy Gabriella. Kimmy's 17 years old. Hometown Lakeland, Florida. She had an awesome audition. Yeah. She needs to kind of pick some better songs, though. I think in Hawaii Week, it wasn't her best choice. Yeah, I during this to move on to the competition. Yeah, really cool story though. She's looking to follow in her father's footsteps, mm -hmm. who was actually a professional musician. He had music videos. He went on tours. So really cool legacy going on there. Yeah, and she's looking to stay true to her Dominican and Venezuelan roots. Very soulful. We think she's top twelve. Definitely. So what are you thinking, John? At number 12 is Sanaya Elise from Atlanta, Georgia. She's 18 years old. Now this is interesting. She was part of a trio that didn't get a lot of um, TV time the last week for Hawaii. They kind of ran through her performance. We're going to see more of those clips here in the next coming weeks of Idol as they do these recaps of the top 21. Uh, so we'll see more of her vocally. Uh, from what I've heard, I think uh, 12 is a good spot for her. I might be a little high. I might be a little low. We're going to find out. At number 11, top 11, we have Olivia Zamiz. Olivia, 17 years old from Manaphy, California. Her Hawaii performance was great. We loved the dancing, loved the singing to Proud Mary, got the crowd engaged, was tons of fun. She has super strong vocals and lights up that stage. Her Hawaii performance was unbelievable. Yeah, so that's why we have her at number 11. John, who do you got at number 11? At number 11 is Aliana Jester, and uh, she is... Only 19 years old from Tampa, Florida. Uh, I I think that I have nailed this one. I think she is right in the middle with top 10 potential, top five potential. Uh, she's also young and vocally getting stronger. So she may, if she picks the wrong song and has a rough vocal week, she may kind of you know kind of trail off a little bit. But I think uh, right in the middle of the pack is where I put her, and that's a good spot to be. All right, here we go. We've made it to the top 10, finishing in 10th. As of now, we think Michaela Phillips. Michaela, 17 years old from California. She is a powerhouse. She had that golden buzzer on America's Got Talent in 2018 at age 15. Unbelievable. Crazy. She has great control. Definitely a solid choice for the top 10. She connects well with the audience, has great range. Awesome stage presence and a lot of confidence. So we're definitely thinking Michaela will easily be in the top 10. Yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah. Who do you got starting at your top 10, John? At number 10 is Lauren uh, Spencer Smith. She's only 16 years old, one of the youngest performers this season, one of the youngest performers ever in Idol history. She's originally from Portsmouth, England, uh, grew up in Canada. She is an interesting performer as well. I think what's going to hold her back is her vocals aren't quite there. If you go back and listen to her her Hawaii performance, um, she struggles a little bit with some of the runs. And I think a lot of young vocalists do that. They think they have to be, you know, do these incredible runs. They're influenced by that. And uh, she got caught up in some of those runs during the last performance. So I'm not sure if she has top 10 potential, but I think she she might if she pulls it together vocally. At number nine, we have Louis Knight. He's 19 years old, hometown Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He's a pop singer songwriter, writes his own music. He performed a moving original song for his audition. Hollywood Week, he performed Marvin Gaye in the script. Hawaii Week performed an awesome version of Ed Sheeran's Castle on a Hill. He's very talented, super good at the piano. Mm -hmm. He's easily going to be top nine, if not higher. Yeah, I agree. Now let's hear from John. Who do you think's top nine? At number nine is Michaela Phillips. She's only 17 years old. She's from Palm Desert, California. Uh, this one, I, I don't know how the voting public is going to react to Michaela. She has a lot going for her. She's, she's young. She has this incredible powerful voice that I think is going to take her a long way. Song choice will be important for her. I think uh, staying humble and not getting on the diva side, which I think we all see kind of there, right? 
Uh, we all kind of say, you know what, she could be the diva and I don't know if we're gonna vote for her, but uh, vocally, she's one of the best in the performance. Coming in at number eight, we have Sanaya Elise. Oh yeah, Sanaya's 18 years old from Atlanta, Georgia. She's a powerhouse, big voice. She performed Lady Marmalade during Hawaii Week. Killed it. And The Prayer with Michaela Phillips during Hollywood Week. Oh, that was so moving. It was a great performance. Definitely stole the show. Yeah, it definitely did. Yeah, so that, that's why we have her at number eight. For sure. Now to our idol expert. Coming in at number eight is Sophia Wackerman, which I know that uh, Katy Perry loves to say Wackerman. Uh, she's only 20 years old, originally from Sydney, Australia. I grew up in California. I think uh, Sophia's really grown on me. Her performance in Hawaii wearing uh, that red outfit with the flipping the hair and really putting on a show for the first time, you saw uh, a performer. And I think this is why I put her so high in the ranking is that um, if she keeps that level of enthusiasm and performance level that high, makes great song choice, and gets better and better, she could make a run at this thing. All right, coming in at number seven, we have Just Sam. She's 21 from Harlem, New York. She is so, so humble, has the biggest heart and an incredible voice. She was a singer on the subway trains, definitely has a passion for singing. I think she's going to go far. Definitely. She has the heart for it. Has the passion. Mm-hmm. Gotta love it. Yeah, we're loving Just Sam. John, what do you think? At number seven is Olivia Zaminas. Uh, she's 16 years old. She is the youngest top 20 performer in Idol history. Uh, and I think she is a ball of energy. She showed, um, <laughs> doing that Tina Turner's classic ride during Hawaii, that uh, she has the showman ability uh, to, uh, to be on that stage. I think vocally she's strong, one of the stronger ones in the, in the contest for being so young. So uh, let's, uh, let's give her a chance to keep growing on us, right? Uh, she just might do it. At number six, we have Johnny West. He auditioned with his girlfriend, Margie Mays. He's very talented. He's got that radio-ready voice. Yeah. But I think he needs to get his confidence up. Yeah. He needs to trust himself a little more because he's so good. He's really good. He sang The Fray, You Found Me. And he's also a piano teacher. You have Louis Capaldi. You have Shawn Mendes. And now there's Johnny West. John, do you agree? Who do you have at top six? At number six is Just Sam. I know we're all rooting for her. She's from uh, The Projects. She has an incredible backstory, uh, a great vibe, a great look, a great presence. You just, you're excited for her to see her on stage. You want to see her grow in that confidence level every week. So automatically, we're going to be voting for her. How far will she go? But will she withstand the pressures of, uh, of the season. Uh, again, not sure how this is all gonna play out, so maybe it might be to her advantage if she's you know recording and doing shows and performances from a, a small space without a big crowd. This may play into her favor, just Sam at number six. Rounding out the top five, we have Lauren Spencer Smith. She's 16 years old from Vancouver Island, Canada. She has unbelievable control over her voice. She's actually the youngest contestant in the top 20. She sang Respect by Aretha Franklin during Hawaii Week, and she absolutely owned the stage. She was so good. And that's why she's our top five. And that's why she's in the top five. <laughs> awesome performer. Yeah. Let's take it over to the idol expert. John, what do you have to say? At number five is Kimmy Gabriella. And I will be honest with you, at first, I wasn't quite sure uh, how far she would go, if she would even make the top 21. Uh, there's something about, you know, having a father figure or a parental figure that's been there and you kind of almost like, I don't want to say a stage mom in a, in a way, but you kind of get that vibe a little bit. So, um, but all that aside, she has one of the best voices on the show this season. I, I like her song choice so far. She seems to be performing within her abilities and uh, I think America's gonna like her even more and more as the season goes on. So I give Kimmy a high ranking at number five. At number four, Dylan James. Dylan's 26 from Bakersfield, California. Now who doesn't love a tale of redemption and recovery? I know, this guy's got a great story. Yeah, Dylan James, he might only be 26, but he's overcame a lot of things in his life. Absolutely. He also has that huge tattoo of Jesus Christ over his entire torso. So sweet. Yeah, he's a construction worker, really hardworking. He has an amazing voice, great storyteller when he sings. 
And he did that Bob Dylan song. That was so good. During Hawaii Week. That might have been one of the best performances during Hawaii Week. Yeah, and that's why he's so. our top four. Who do you got at number four, Johnny? At number four, I have Grace Lear. Yeah, the other country performer uh, that's uh, battling it out there uh, with uh, with Lauren Massetti. And yeah, I have her pretty high. I have her at number four. She's a seasoned pro. She's 28 years old. She's been here before, done the Young Idol thing before. Um, she lives in Nashville. Uh, she knows her stuff. Uh, she has a kind of lean towards older country music. So I think the country crowd will definitely vote for her this season and she'll stick around for a long time. Um, that's why I put her at number four. Um, we'll see what she can do. At number three, top three, we have Francisco Martin, of course. Love this guy. He's only 19 years old. He's from San Francisco, California. This kid is the next Bruno Mars. Yeah. He absolutely owns the stage. Mm-hmm. He's killer on the guitar. He's just, he's he's the real deal. Yeah, he's so talented. Makes singing look effortless. He's definitely in the top three. Some say he might even win the show. Yeah. I think he's got a good chance. Yeah, I do too. So let's hear what you have to say, John. Who's your top three? Mm-hmm. At number three is Julia Gargano from Staten Island, New York. She's 22 years old. Uh, I, I just love uh, everything about her. She's the complete package. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Catherine McPhee in a way. Maybe not vocally, but just kind of in that that commanding stage presence. She's also a little shy um, or just quite not sure how to handle all this talent that she has. I think that's endearing to a lot of people. Uh, so that's why I have her ranked so high. I think she could sneak up on a lot of people, even though I have her ranked at number three. She's not going to sneak up on me, but I think she's going to stick around for a long time in this competition. Finishing at number two as of now in our power rankings is Julia Gargano. Yes, Julia's 22. She's from Staten Island, New York. She's a singer-songwriter. Her audition was an original song, Growing Pains. Fantastic. That was unbelievable. So good. She has that original sound, a super powerful voice, and she's a great piano player. I think she's the full package. You gotta love a good singer-songwriter. Mm-hmm. Especially on Idol. Yeah. Definitely <laughs> finishing out the top two. If not, maybe the winner. Maybe. Who do you got, John, at number two? At number two, and this may surprise uh, the Idol faithful, <laughs> including TK Top Tunes, right? Uh, Arthur Gunn I have at number two. Uh, listen, I, I am a huge Arthur Gunn fan. He's a breath of fresh air. He's incredible incredible vocally. Uh, he's got the right attitude. Um, great backstory. Um, I just worry about him when it comes to really showing uh, a variety of uh, performance ability, okay? And what I mean by that is I'm not sure he'll be able to tackle everything. I know he did reggae uh, and he's done Bruce Springsteen, so he's shown some variety in there. But to be an idol, you have to be able to command the stage, which he does, right? But you also have to be able to show some different moments vocally and uh, as a performer, show that you have range in in style. And I'm not sure Arthur can do that just yet. I could be wrong. And number one, who we have winning the show in our power rankings right now is the one and only Arthur Arthur Gunn. Gunn. This dude is killer. Mm -hmm. He definitely stands out over the rest of the competition. Yeah. He's 22 from Wichita, Kansas, originally from Nepal. Yeah. Extremely humble. He has an amazing voice, sounds effortless when he's singing. He has that raspy original sound. Yeah, he does. Got that classic rock vibe going on for him. He's been playing a lot of cool songs. He's done CCR. Last week during Hawaii Week, he did Bob Marley. Oh, yeah. That was really This guy's just cool, and I definitely think he's going to win it all. Yeah, me too. Now, John. Let's hear it. Who do you have at number one? At number one in the power rankings, I have Francisco Martin. Francisco. We all love that name. He's 19 years old from San Francisco, California. And, uh, yeah, maybe this uh, surprises a lot of people. Maybe some didn't think he was going to make the top 21. Uh, But I look at him. He's young. He's got a great voice, a great stage presence. I think he has the right attitude. I think uh, the voters will love to vote for him every single week. They're going to tune in to see what he's going to do next. Uh, He's just going to grow on the fan base throughout the season. And uh, I think right now... I have him as the best chance to win this year. 
Well, there you have it. There's our top 20 power rankings for American Idol 2020. Yeah, we'll see if it comes true. Thanks, John, again for being on our show. Bringing some awesome American Idol insight from a longtime American Idol expert. Check out American Idol tonight, and we'll see who gets into the top 20. Yeah, check it out tonight on ABC 8 o'clock. And a quick shout out to our double platinum Patreon member, Jermaine. Yes, Jermaine. Thank you so much for supporting our channel and Patreon. If you want to check out Patreon, click in the description down below. And if this is your first time coming across our channel, please give us a quick subscribe. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date because we come out with videos every, every single day. day and we can't wait to see you tomorrow. See ya. See ya.